This is gonna be the first time I do this type of video. I'm running through almost an entire house, or what I think is an entire house. Today's video is sponsored by Max Aroma, and they sent me a lot of Oman luxury fragrances. Now, I have about four already on deck that I've given my opinion on, kind of first impression-ish, and I'm gonna do the same for the other ones as well. So I'm gonna give you my real deal first impressions of what I think of these particular fragrances. Now, we're not gonna go through dry down or any of those things. I just wanna give you that same vibe that if these were available like on a storefront, let's say for example, like Sephora, if you went and sprayed it and rocked it, what kind of scent profile and reaction you would get from these particular fragrances and possibly look up some notes. Let's roll my music so we can check out an entire house of Oman luxury. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to be today. So essentially, from what I know, and don't quote me on this, the entire Oman luxury lineup is kind of centered around frankincense and spices, kind of emulating the whole Oman, the actual place Oman's entire vibe. They're trying to go for like a spicy, sexy, sultry kind of scent profile. Now truth be told, these fragrances are not cheap. They're all in that niche type price point of sub $300 or in that $300 space. I always say if you're shopping on Max Aroma, which I do on the consistent, I partner with Max Aroma consistently. I'ma just wait for some fucking coupons, you know what I'm saying? Or if I got a promo code, I'ma throw it in the description. And if you feel that our nose is aligned, go ahead. But usually go for a sample first. You gotta see if it vibes with you. That's the most important thing from Jump Street. So I got a few bottles here. I got I got 10 in total, including the four that I have back there. And I'll run through those four real quick and give you my perception once again, if you'd like. But it's not like you can answer me now. So I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. So let's start jumping into these joints because I don't like making these super duper long videos. They're gonna be first impression types. So the first one that I'm gonna pop open is called Serenity by Oman Luxury. This is what the presentations look like. So it's a sleeve. A nice split box with the insignia on top, very classy, very clean. It's got that chocolatey color with gold flakes and they all come sealed. So Uncle Cuba's gotta slice them all open and hopefully they don't fall and break. Actually, that would be pretty dope on a video. So let's open this joint up. Oh, they're magnetic too. Damn, that's a pretty sh strong magnet. So this one is Serenity. Let's take it out of this coffin. Here's the Serenity bottle. And I don't know any notes, we'll look up some notes, but I was just looking to see if there's any particles and shit flowing, but it's just bubbles. I just wanna give you guys my first impressions, let you know what I think, if I like it, if I don't. And again, first impressions is difficult, right? Because it's just the first impression. Like, it, the, the dry down is really what does it. And it's gonna be hard to do all these shits on skin, but I'm gonna try my absolute best. Again, first impressions is kind of difficult because it's just that. First impressions. We don't know what it's gonna be on skin. If it's fly enough, I'm gonna try it on skin. If not, I'm gonna keep it on paper energy. So let's check out what Serenity be like. <laughs> oh, this is what we doing? Oh, this is how we're starting? Oh, this is how we're starting? It's definitely in the space of a funkier oud wood. Woo hoo hoo! Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, this one's going on skin right now. There's definitely, oh look, I got double goosebumps. Bapo, talk to me nice or don't talk to me at all. It's got a little bit of a funk factor. There's some cumin-ish, slightly B.O. essence there. You kind of get that Middle Eastern kind of oody, punchy cumin-y. There's some gritty wood in here too. There's some really rustic, naturalistic woods here, but it also has a beautiful sex appeal though. There's like suede vibes, leather, oud, cumin, rose in the air like from a distance it smells better than it does all up close up close you're gonna pick up a lot of that oud there's a little bit of a funk factor i'm not gonna lie to you but some people really like that shit that adds that base and that longevity and that beast mode of this fragrance all right so the notes are listed as rose saffron cumin clove cedar jasmine leather oud patchouli olabdenum musk and praline you get a lot of the cumin and oud the cumin and oud is very present and very potent but so far, starting off 
very good. So on a scale of one to 10, Serendi, I'm gonna have to give this joint like a seven, eight, seven, nine. This is really good. Next one. All right, so the next one we're gonna unbox is Maria or Mariah. I can't, I'm not allowed to say any other woman's name in this house. I'll just get stabbed. All right, let's slice this joint open. Leave this open. Ah, ooh, this one's a black bottle. Mar fucking Mariah, look at that bottle. Beautiful, black and gold. Like it, like it, like it. Again, don't know anything about it, but let's just jump right into this joint and see what Maria, Maria, smells like, Maria. Chocolate rose, unisex chocolatey rose. This is very gourmandy on paper. All right, so I'm getting chocolate, rose, orange peel, and banana. Yeah, that's it. That's very unusual. It smells like a homemade chocolate shake with banana. That's, I don't know. Rose, chocolate, banana, orange peel. I gotta try this on skin, man. I'm gonna run out of skin. I can't do all these on skin. I'm gonna smell like the old lady with Pearl spraying you at the mall. Oh, okay. So on skin, still chocolatey, but creamsicle. Still get like this banana-ish kind of smell. Oranges, yeah, orange, vanillic, creamsicle, very different, very unusual, never experienced anything like this before. I don't dislike it at all. I'm just kind of thrown back, like, I gotta look up the notes. All right, so it's bergamot, mandarin, orange, orange blossom, coriander, Bulgarian rose, taif rose, bourbon, geranium, patchouli, vanilla, coffee, and caramel. Yeah, it's a very gourmandy, sweet. I'm now picking up the caramel now that I said it out loud. Very, di super different. This could be a very interesting, fr I'd be very curious to see what other content creators say about this fragrance. On a scale of one to 10, wow, this is so far the most interesting. The other one is mass appeal all up my alley. I wanna give this like a full wear to see how I feel about it. I'm gonna give this like a six, eight with a pending review, like, hmm. Putting that to the side, next one. All right, so the next one is Wonder Wanderlust. Wanderlust. Where's the knife again? Let's open this up. This is actually fun, man. This is like doing like a little Christmas unboxing video. Wanderlust. Here's Wanderlust. All right, let's crack into this puppy real quick. Wanderlust by Oman Luxury. So far, I mean, I love the ingredients. I mean, it just feels very natural, very good, very niche -y. That's weird. Green, very green. Herbal, almost Bengay-ish. It's a little weird. It's sweet, yet sour. Green, herbal, slightly medicinal. It's weird on paper. I'm not gonna hold you. It's a little awkward. Just like me, like I feel like, ooh! And then I'm like, ugh. I gotta try it on skin. It's a little awkward. It's green, sweet. I didn't even do a big spray. I did a small spray, honestly, because it's, I'm 50-50 on it. It's green, it's sweet, then green again, very dirty, soily. Mmm, feels kind of like a, on the border of spoiling papaya. I know that sounds weird, but that's what I'm getting. On the border, like, like it has two days left. Either you freeze it, make a smoothie, or chuck this shit in the garbage, because it's about to turn. Papaya, tropical, fruit, green, soily. Mmm, let me look up the notes. All right, lemon, bergamot, pink pepper, black currant, saffron, cinnamon, olabdenum, gayak wood, and cedar. No. A tropical fruit about to spoil, green, soily, dirt, meh. For me, this one's eh. On a scale of one to 10, this joint would be like a four, eight. Don't love this one, next one. All right, next one is Dehan or Dejan, whatever, okay. Ooh, another black bottle. All right, so if, uh, when I see a black bottle now, autom automatically after that Mariah, I'm thinking it's gonna be weird, different, unusual. We'll see. All right, here we go. Dehan or Dejan. Let's see what's up with this joint. I love the black bottles. I love black, black looking bottles. This shit's as fire. Okay, it's a scent profile that is kind of recognizable. There's definitely some oud in here. There's a little bit of an animalic kind of flow, but there's a mass appeal DNA in there also. Sweet, maybe leather, oud, 
There's a little bit of a fruity vibe. There's also a funk in here. There's definitely some Udi funk. There's something a little unusual about this joint. I think this has a potential to be very good off of skin on the dry down, but on smelling it like I'm doing it, it might deter people if they don't really give it an opportunity. Like I see the capability that this has on skin. This is gonna have to go on skin because I'm very curious about this joint. Got a weird Middle Eastern funk, but not one that's throwing me off yet. There's something really cool about this shit. Something about these black bottles, and I don't know if it's a separate line because the presentation doesn't indicate it. Something about these black bottles really had have these unique qualities about them that are so interesting. Like this is in that same space of that Mariah. Very interesting and different. All right, let me try to do it over here. This is just too much scent. I'm gonna have a sensory overload. There's a little bit of a civet-ish kind of sweet, maybe leather or amber and some green. There's green in here now on skin. Very concentrated green, leather, Something sweet oud, definitely, because it's got that really natural, funky oud. But it's a really, like, this is crazy. Like, these black bottles are super fucking interesting. All right, rose water, cypriol oil, labdanum, oud, musk, and amber. It's kind of all those things. Like, it really hits that point. The oud is just a little extra funky. The rose water, yeah, I get all of it. Very interesting also. Like, Dejan right now, I'm gonna give this joint a seven. I like this joint. Another one that I want to have a full wear with this. This is only cold weather. Only cold weather, but very interesting. Next one. All right. I'm hype on this one. Royal Incense. I mean, you're catching me. When they throw the little royal tag on it, kind of gets my juices flowing. Is this a black bottle too? No. Not a black bottle. I'm going to start stepping all over boxes everywhere. Royal Incense. So let's jump into this piece real quick and see what Royal Incense be about. Oman Luxury Royal Incense. Oud Satin Mood with a Twist. Mmm. 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 Oud Satin Mood with a soapy essence. A little bit sweeter. Oh. I, bro, this brand is hitting. All right, this is another one that has to go on skin. I didn't want to do all this on skin, guys. Like, this is way too much for me. I'm gonna go into a straight up fucking anaphylactic shock with all these fragrances. Oh, incense. Whoa. Ooh, very churchy incense. Very potent incense. Churchy incense. Forget Oud Satin Mood. Oud Satin Mood was on paper. No, incense. Incense. Soapy. No, nothing like Oud Satin Mood on paper. Completely scratch what I just said. This is why the paper shit doesn't always work out. Com just scratch everything I just said. No Oud Satin Mood. Incense, heavy, church incense. Dude is just throwing the shit all over you. I can't get past the incense. Incense, wood, smoke, slightly sweet, and soap. Let's look up the notes. Hmm. Pink pepper, geranium, lily, incense, 100,000%. Honey, huh. amber, leather, cedar, vetiver, and musk. Maybe that's the slight sweetness that I'm getting, the honey? This, you really gotta be into incense. I don't know how paper was so, I mean, drastically different. I mean, ebene fume is a fire incense. This is pure fucking incense, but like churchy incense. Ooh, that sweetness is really, really popping now. Oh man, this is very cool. Only cold weather appropriate. None of these really have a fresh component that I've smelled right now. So these are all literally either chilly nights or fall winter appropriate. Royal incense, it's like a 7-3. Next one. All right, next one. Flower Lush. I'm assuming it's gonna be floral. I and mean, if you come with a name like Flower Lush, is it a gold bottle, black bottle, gold bottle. Gold bottles are more of the mass appeal kind of DNA. Flower Lush. Let's go towards Flower Lush. This is for the ladies, for sure. And very much in the designer -ish space. More floral, obviously. Designer-ish. It's like designer with oud. All these fragrances have oud. Ladies, designer, floral, sweet, oud. Not something I would wear, but very easy to wear also. This might be the easiest one for someone to wear, well, a lady to wear, out of all these fragrances. This one's also okay. Not one that I'm interested in trying on skin, to be honest with you. It's just not something I feel that I would wear either. Very easy to wear floral for ladies that want a little bit of a oody floral, but it's kind of in very much in the designer space. So for me, um, like 4-2. Next one. All right, other than the ones back here, and I'll revisit those real quick. Algan, Algan Ham. Gundam style. 
This is the last one. Black bottle, white. Oh, another black bottle. All right, so I'm hype already because the black bottles are not the absolute best ones, but they are definitely the most interesting. An Gaham or An Gam. All right, An Gam. Oh, how many test trips I got? I gotta save the test. I'd be going through these test trips like there's no tomorrow. All right, An Gam. Let's see if it keeps that black bottle energy. Yo, cranberry. Oof. Killian vodka on the rocks. Extra cranberry. Woody. Sexy. Sweet. Musk. Floral. Some unique spices in here. Ooh. Mmm. Shit. This is going on skin. Ooh. Ooh, this one's good. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, I have a lot of goodness on me right now. Damn. All right, my rip. No. I don't have... Right here. I have like no space left. Man. This is a good house, man. This is a very good house. Shit. Oh, yes. Mmm. Smoky. Sweet cranberry, which is sweet and bitter. Oud, but not fecal or animalic. Floral. Spices, like cooking spices. I don't know, I'm getting like nutmeg. I think nutmeg. Apple, clove, saffron, citruses, geranium, orris root. I do get the powder in it. Jasmine, cedar, leather, vanilla, sandalwood, benzoin, ambergris. Very fucking good. Scale of one to 10 on this joint. Seven, eight as well. Should I jump into the other ones? Let's just do it. My favorite from these. Oud Aquilaria, followed by Paramour, Belfour, and then Overdose. So I'm gonna give you my honest opinion of which one of these I feel are super interesting, and I'm sorry for your wallet. The ones that are a no for me is Flowerlush, not my vibe, Wonderlust, not my vibe. I would say Oud Aquilaria, Agan, Angam, Dehan, Royal Incense, and Serenity. Those are the ones that I feel confident that people are going to enjoy. So that's what, five of them. So it's Oud Aquilaria, Angam, Dehan, Royal Incense, and Serenity. A, a very strong contender is that Mariah that I wanna give more of a wear to because it's ridiculously interesting and super different from anything else that I have. So that's like a strong second place, followed by Paramore and throwing Belfiore in there as well. So far, honestly guys, shout out to Max Aruma for blessing me with these joints to test them out. I'm gonna be 100% clear and honest and concise. This feels like an up and coming niche house that's gonna make a splash for the people who are into niche Udi fragrances with that Middle Eastern twist. This feels like the next kind of amouages type house that's gonna be making some noise. That's what I feel personally. I I'm just putting it out there. These are some very good quality fragrances. They seem to be good on performance, but I can't really judge it because I haven't gotten the crazy full wares of these new ones that I've gotten. The Oud Aquilaria, I can tell you that performs incredible. So what Max Aroma did is with any purchase of a full bottle of an Oman luxury, they're gonna throw in the Explorer Collection sample kit for free using my promo code listed below. So any of these fragrances that you decide to proceed with, if you're going to go that blind buying route and there's one that really strikes you, if you look up the notes and you like my reaction and you feel that our nose is aligned, then you'll get that free sample kit which you'll get to try other fragrances from the lineup before pulling that trigger. But again, Serenity, Royal Incense, Dehan, Angam, Angam, I don't know why I can't say that word and Oud Aquilaria are the five that I personally am enjoying the most right now. I'll put my promo code in the description and I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Longest video I've ever done and I'm going to have a stroke. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough rugger that raw way. This nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>